is. I'm just going to show some flowers that I've done today out of organza. Um, I'm having to prop the camera up and do it this way because one of them I need to show you. I'm probably not looking in the right direction, but never mind. Anyway, um, first of all I did some of the five, little five petal flowers. Now I've been working with organza today and um, I, I made this one. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube. I don't need to show you how to make this because that would just be repeating. Um, and I've put a flat back pearl in and I've backed them onto the belt. And then I put um, this one. Do crafts. Dove crafts. Yeah. Glitter glue. Because um, I like things to be nice and sparkly. Um, they're really pretty these. It's quite small. In my wisdom, um, I started off with a two... Two inch circles for these petals, so five two inch circles. I wouldn't advise making them this small, and especially not out of organza. It was real hard work. I nearly had a nervous breakdown, to be honest, because it's really fiddly material, and it's slippy and slidey, and it's hard to hold, and it's hard to sew. Um, so I was going to make like a zillion of them. I think I might make about five. And that is it, because I nearly seriously threw them through the kitchen window. Anyway, then I did um, another one um, using the cone method that I've um, recently learned. I put a video up um, yesterday or the day before where I used cotton, bordure and glaze style cotton. And I thought I'd try it with um, this organza and I think it works really well. And I think it looks really pretty and again I put that... Um, glitter glue around the middle. Now the main reason I put the glitter glue, if I'm honest and I'm not lying, right, is because when I glue that flat black pearl, it, I had like blobs of glue because my glue gun, the end's quite, um, it's one of them with like an end as big as like Blackpool Tower. So it blobs. So um, I put um, glitter glue around to hide it. You can't even tell that there's um, blobs there now. Then I came up with this one because I was getting really mad with the organza and I was getting really frustrated and I had loads of these little circles that I'd cut out and I could no longer be bothered to sew the five petal flowers because like I say it, it, were, it were hard graft. So I came up with this one. Now it's very similar to the cone method but this is a laser method. But if you look at the sides, I think it looks a little bit like a ballerina tutu. Now, I haven't seen anybody do this method. I'm not saying that I've come up with it. I'm not an inventor. I'm not an artist. I'm a decorator. I, I like to make things look pretty. I, I don't come up with new stuff. That's not my forte. But um, I kind of made this up as I was going along. Out of frustration, really. And by accident. And what I did was, I had loads of these little two inch circles. Now you don't, they don't have to be perfect, it's really hard to cut organza perfectly. In fact, it's nearly impossible to cut it perfectly, unless you've got a, like a die cut that can do it. Well I don't have one of those, so I'm doing it with scissors, old fashioned way. Okay. So, what I did was, because I was getting really bored and really lazy, folded it in half like that, and then I got hold of the middle like that. Then I just grabbed that and twisted the end. So you've got a little bit of a flounce a bit there and you've got a twist and then you've got a little round bit that you've twisted. You then put your blob of hot glue on there and stick it oops, to um, a piece of felt. Now I cut mine really small and it were enough. So you'd, you'd hot glue it on there. Okay like that. Yeah. Now that looks really rubbish at the moment, but if you do like do it round like a clock, like the numbers of a clock, twelve o'clock, six o'clock, blah blah. Go around like that. Then do another row and you end up with this like quite poofy, fluffy effect. And if it looks a bit like you've got bits sticking out, I just cut them off and then you fluff it like that. 
And because it's just the edges of the organza, they start to like, I don't know if you can see, the fibres come off and it just looks really, really good. And then I put this little, on this one I put this little daisy bling in the middle that I made by just sticking them um, pearls together with hot glue really. But I think that's really cute and I've kind of come up with it. So, uh, just goes to show what you can make out of scraps really. Um, this organza, I did buy originally. I've got loads of it left, I think. I've got all this. So, I'm not going to be making uh, all five petal flowers out of that because I'd be 150 by the time I finished all this material. And I got this really cheap from Dunelm and I've got it to cover um, this um, kitchen table stroke my craft room when it was my little girl's birthday party. And it got a bit tatty and torn at the edges as the day went on. So, uh, I've got to think of ways of uh, reusing it now. So, um, it's going to be lots and lots of organza flowers by the looks of it. So, I just thought I'd show you that. I really quite like these little tiny flowers. Um, something to try. Plenty of glitter. You can never have too much glitter. Simple as that. So, there you go. Some tiny little flowers. They'd look nice on a little tag or a journal or... Um, you can even put them on a clip or a headband. Um, so there you go. It is very frustrating to work with organza, but um, it's really, really pretty. And if you're looking for shabby, it frays really easily. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll be on again when I've created or copied something else. Thanks for watching. Bye.